Good morning, students. In atoms and molecules lesson, come to the last Roman letter nine. Solve the following. The first one: How many grams are there in the following? How many grams means you have to find the mass. First one: two moles of hydrogen molecule. Molecule means the H two. So mass from the second formula, you make a formula of mass. Mass is equal to number of moles into molecular mass. Number of moles is given in the equation that is two. Two into atomic mass of hydrogen that is one. One into two. So two into two that is equal to four grams. So the mass is equal to four gram. The next one, three moles of chlorine molecule Cl two. What is the atomic mass of chlorine? Thirty-five point five. So here you have to write the formula. Mass is equal to number of moles into molecular mass. Number of moles is given in the equation three. Three into two into thirty-five point five. So three into seventy-one that is equal to two hundred and thirteen gram. Mass is equal to two hundred and thirteen gram. Third one, five moles of sulfur molecule. Yes, eight. What is the atomic mass of sulfur? Thirty-two. So eighteen to thirty-two. Here, what do you have to find? Mass. Mass is equal to number of moles into molecular mass. Number of moles that is five into eighteen to thirty-two. So five into two hundred and fifty-six that is equal to thousand two hundred and eighty gram. Fourth one. Four moles of phosphorus molecule P four. What is the atomic mass of phosphorus? Thirty one. So four into thirty one. So mass is equal to number of moles into molecular mass. That is equal to four into four into thirty one. So that is equal to four into one hundred and twenty four. That is equal to four hundred and ninety six gram mass. Mass means you have to express it in gram, so mass is equal to four hundred and ninety-six gram. Second one, calculate the percentage of each element in calcium carbonate, CaCO three. The compound formula, the molecular formula is CaCO three. So mass percentage is equal to mass of element by molar mass or molecular mass of the compound. In two hundred, in this question you have to find the each element. So you have to find calcium percentage, carbon percentage, and also the oxygen percentage. So first you find the molecular mass of the compound that is calcium carbonate. Molecular mass of calcium carbonate that is equal to one into Ca plus one into C plus three into O. One into atomic mass of calcium that is forty plus one into atomic mass of carbon twelve plus three into atomic mass of oxygen that is sixteen. So one into forty forty one into twelve twelve plus three into sixteen that is equal to forty uh, eight. Forty plus twelve plus forty eight that is equal to hundred. Now we have to find the ma mass percentage of the each element. So the first element, calcium. Percentage of calcium in calcium carbonate is equal to mass of calcium by molar mass or molecular mass of calcium carbonate into hundred. Mo molecular that is mass of calcium, atomic mass of calcium that is forty by molecular masses that is hundred. Into hundred, we have to cancel it so that the answer is forty percentage. Percentage of calcium in calcium carbonate that is equal to forty percentage. Percentage of carbon in calcium carbonate that is equal to mass of carbon by molecular mass of calcium carbonate into hundred. Mass of atomic mass of carbon that is equal to twelve by Molecular mass of calcium carbonate hundred into hundred. We have to cancel it. That is equal to twelve percentage. Then percentage of oxygen in calcium carbonate. 
is equal to mass of oxygen by molecular mass of calcium carbonate into 100. Mass of oxygen. Atomic mass of oxygen 16. So 16 into 3 that is equal to 48 by 100. That is molecular mass of calcium carbonate 100 into 100. You cancel it. So that is equal to 48 percentage. So percentage of oxygen in calcium carbonate that is equal to 48 percentage. Third one. Calculate the percentage of oxygen in Al2SO4 thrice aluminium sulfate. In this compound, we have to find the percentage of oxygen only. 4 threes are 12, 12 into 16. So, first you already know the formula of mass percentage. Mass percentage is equal to mass of the element by molecular mass of the compound into 100. So, first you find molecular mass of a compound aluminium sulfate. Al2SO4 thrice. So, that is equal to 2 into Al plus 3 into, you put common, 1 into S plus 4 into O. That is equal to 2 into atomic mass of aluminium 27 plus 3 into 1 into atomic mass of sulfur 32 plus 4 into atomic mass of oxygen that is 16. Now multiply 2 into 27 that is equal to 54 plus 3 into 1 into 32 that is equal to 32 plus 16 into 4 that is equal to 64. So 54 plus 3 into 96 that is equal to 54 plus 288 that is equal to 342. This is the molecular mass of aluminium sulfate that is equal to 342. So, the question is percentage of oxygen in aluminium sulfate that is equal to mass of oxygen by molecular mass of aluminium sulfate in 200. Mass of oxygen. Mass of oxygen that is oxygen is 16. So, 16 into 12. That is equal to 192 by 342 into 100. That is equal to 56.14 percentage. This is the percentage of oxygen in aluminium sulfate that is equal to 56.14 percentage. Fourth one, calculate the percentage relative abundance of boron 10 and boron 11. If its average atomic mass is 10.804 AMU, atomic mass unit. What is given in the question? Average atomic mass of boron that is equal to 10.804. And the relative percentage of relative abundance of B10 that is equal to X. The relative abundance of B12, boron 11, that is equal to Y. So, x plus y that is equal to 100. x is equal to 100 minus y. Atomic mass of boron 10, you have to take as 10x. Atomic mass of boron 11, that is equal to 11y. Then, average atomic mass that is 10.804, that is equal to 10x plus 11y by 100. Next one, you multiply this one. 10.804 into 100 that is equal to 10 into x. What is the x? x is equal to 100 minus y plus 11y. You multiply it, you can get the 1080.4 uh, that is equal to, you multiply here 1000 minus 10y plus 11y. That is equal to... 1080.4 here come to this side so minus 1000 that is equal to y so y equal to 80.4 percentage y equal to 80.4 percentage put y equal to 80.4 in x x is equal to 100 minus y so x is equal to 100 minus 80.4 
that is equal to x is equal to 19.6 percentage. So the percentage of abundance of x is what? B10, boron 10, that is equal to 19.6 percentage. Then percentage of abundance of y, that is B11, equal to 80.4 percentage.